GL Time for breakfast. This family consists of four members. This is Kintaro, five years old. This is Momotaro, 23 years old. This topic is about Genki's pregnancy and delivery. This is Genki, 37 years old. Genki will be 38 years old on June 21st of this year. In terms of age, the maximum age she can conceive is 40. She has two years left. After giving birth, a female girl leader must always survive at least five years. The average lifespan of a girl leader in captivity is 50 years. The Fatu of the Berlian Zoo is 67 years old, but this is an exception. Baby galeers need their mothers for a minimum of five years. If the mother dies suddenly, a surrogate mother is needed. It is said that if a baby grows without the mother, it would die prematurely. If Geng is conceived before the age of 40, she must live to be at least 46 years old. This is Gentaro, 12 years old. Gentaro was truly lucky. I'm starting to worry about Jamila again. Today's temperature is as hot as a summer day. Quintana is resting in the shade. Back to the topic. Let's consider pregnancy and childbirth from the health aspect of Genki. After all, Genki's two decades will have no small effect. This is because it is not possible to completely cure Genki's two decades. <laughs> If it were, all the cavities would have to be extracted. If this happened, she would not be able to chew and eat. Momotaro is also looking for shade because of the heat. Genki has had severe dental treatment in the past, right? Each time she has been prescribed antibiotics. If she becomes pregnant, antibiotics will not be available. At the same time, if by any chance the two stake worsens, the treatment will be interrupted. Not only interruption, but also after pregnancy, treatment will not be available for one while. My personal concern is whether the medication will affect the breast milk. If treatment becomes mandatory, separation from the baby will be your consideration. There is a way for mother and the baby to be separated together, like Momoko and Sumomo of the Wanazu. In other words, there is always a risk involved in a situation where health concerns remain. The Kyoto City Zoo would like to let Genki have one more baby. Genki likes to raise her babies, so I agree with that, but the question is how the health aspect will be affected. Kintaro greeting visitors to the zoo. Another issue is that if Genki becomes pregnant, Gintaro may need to leave the family as soon as possible. In the current Galiter health, five dogs is too many. A new Galiter health could be built, but it is not something that can be built within a few years. By the way, the issues I'm talking about now are my personal thoughts.
If viewers have any thoughts, please write them in the comment section. If we want Gendar to stay with his family for a few more years, don't we need to hurry up with Genki's pregnancy and birth? Gendaro came to us suddenly. Nevertheless, there is little behavior now that would make Genki pregnant. The zookeepers and the veterinarians are also testing Genki's urine on a regular basis to see if there are any hormonal changes. <laughs> Gunter finds some shade and begins to knock. This place will be good for him to avoid being seen. Montaro is not that type to approach Genki so aggressively. It will be interesting to see how aggressive Montaro can be. Genki is sitting on the blanket again. It's not that Genki likes the blanket, but that <laughs> she simply doesn't care about it anymore. Slightly off topic, I read in the comment sections a suggestion to have another female galleries live with Mumtaro for his sake. In the first place, there is no other female girl leader in Japan to live with him. If Genki turns 40 and is unable to conceive, what will happen to Momotaro? Momotaro is a male girl leader who can still reproduce. As I mentioned earlier, either way, there are no female girl leaders in Japan. Momotaro's owner is the Chiba Zoo, not the Couch Sea Zoo. The Chiba Zoo will make the final decision. <laughs> this is the same for Gentaro. Gentaro is also owned by the Chiba Zoo, so he cannot belong to the Couch Sea Zoo in the future without the Chiba Zoo's permission. In other words, supporting only the Kyosuke Zoo will not solve the problem. Zoos in Japan need to work together and the other zoos need to be supported. Genki was born and raised in the Kyosuke Zoo, so she will continue to stay in the Kyosuke Zoo. Kinko's owner is also the Kyosuke Zoo. It is likely that the Genki and Kintaro will now be in this place as they did yesterday. If the Kyoshi Zoo will take all possible measures to support Genki's pregnancy and birth, my personal desire is for Genki to give birth to a female baby. Because if she inherits Genki's genes, she will certainly be a motherly female girl leader. Genki's mother Shilami was also a very maternal female girl leader. Genki eating though sleepy. As you know, Genki eats a lot. People say that Genki eats all the time, but she's wonderful. Genki does not fight over who. Other female girl leaders would get into fights with family members or other female girl leaders in some cases. If the male girl leaders are eating on the ceiling, Genki will not climb up to the ceiling. Genki avoids fighting over food. She only takes food that she can eat without fighting. Genki is considered to be assertive and rough, but she is not. She is a female girl leader who is very considerate of her surroundings. Gintaro and Kintaro resting in the shade. Genki does not like to touch new things. 
even when studying numbers, she initially avoided touching the touch screen. She finally studied when she saw that the guitar was enjoying studying numbers. Today, it was so hard that the gorillas hardly moved, so I made a topic and explained it to everyone. Please comment your opinions on this topic. Kintari is getting better at eating large amounts of food at each meal. The zookeeper sometimes gives the gorillas four meals a day in the morning, before noon, at noon, and in the evening. Thank you for watching. Click the like button and subscribe to my channel, please. See you in the next video.